Hi everyone and welcome to this pay repair. Does the engine on your car have a rough idle? Does it violently shake when running? Well, if you drive a gas driven car, not a diesel one, you might have a bad ignition coil problem. This video should help you in finding out if the ignition coils are the actual problem so you can start making the needed repair as soon as possible. So stay tuned. DespairRepair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DespairRepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Before we start, we would recommend watching our other video about the symptoms of a bad ignition coil. In that video, you can see 10 common symptoms of this problem that will give you a heads up that the ignition coil, one or more of them, are actually faulty. To watch the video, click the card in the corner of this video or click on the link in the description. Use an OBD tool. The first and by far best way to diagnose a bad ignition coil is to use an OBD tool. What's best with an ignition coil problem is that in most cases you'll get a clear code. No wandering around and you'll immediately know what the problem is. The code you'll probably get is P0301 P0302, P0303 and else, all depending on what engine cylinder is misfiring. The last digit in this code is the cylinder number. So for instance, the P0301 is the first cylinder misfiring. The P0302 is the second cylinder, 0303 is the third and so on. So simply plug in the OBD tool, make a scan, get the code and you'll know not only what's wrong but also what ignition coil is causing the problem. So you can make the repair much faster and without second guessing. Disconnect the coils. If you don't have an OBD tool there are a couple of ways to find a bad ignition coil without it. This is provided you have clear access to the ignition coils. We're mentioning this since on some engines the coils stick out from the engine and you have clear access to them. But on some cars, like in this case, the coils, wiring and connections are in a plastic protective tray and this is pretty hard to do. If you have clear access, try doing this. Start the engine and disconnect the electric connectors on the ignition coils one by one. This is essentially a crude but effective elimination process. By listening and looking at the engine, you should be able to conclude what coil is faulty. If, when you disconnect the coil, the engine starts running even more roughly than before, stutters and even wants to cut off, that coil is working and is okay. But if you disconnect the coil and the engine continues running the same as before, this is probably where your bad ignition coil is. So on the ignition coil where there are no changes, that's the coil that's bad. Switch the coils. The next way to diagnose a bad ignition coil that you can do together with disconnecting them is to simply switch the places of the coils. For instance, switch coil number one with coil number two and then start the engine. The telltale sign that you found the problem is that the engine again runs roughly but this time in a slightly different way. It may shake more and produce a slightly different sound. This is caused by the other engine cylinder not working. All of this is again the same elimination process as we previously mentioned. You're just doing it with the coil instead of the electric connection. Switch the coils and use an OBD tool. An even better and easier way to do what we've just mentioned is to switch the coils and then use an OBD tool once more. This will confirm the problem almost 100%. If you decide to use this method, it's very important to clear all of the DTC codes from the previous scan so you don't get a false reading. So what you do is first switch the coils and then connect the OBD tool. Clear all of the previous codes. After this, start the engine and let it run a bit. After this, do a scan and if this method works, you should get a misfire code for some other cylinder where you've mounted the faulty coil. For instance, coil one was causing the problem in the first place. 
and you switched it with coil 2. If this works, you should now get a fault code from engine cylinder 2, not from engine cylinder 1. Test other parts of the system. While you're doing all of this, it would also be good to do two more things. Test the power input to the ignition coil and check the spark plugs one or more. For the power input test, all you need is a multimeter or a simple tester probe. Just turn on the ignition and see if there is power input to the connector of the coil. If there is, then everything is okay and this is additional confirmation that the ignition coil is actually the problem. But if there isn't a power input, then the problem might be something else like a broken wire, an ECU problem, fuse problems or else. Regarding the spark plugs, you can check one or even better check all of them and see the condition they are in. Lots of times a bad spark plug will cause the misfire, not the ignition coil and this is especially present on poorly maintained engines. Once again, we would highly recommend diagnosing a bad ignition coil with an OBD tool. It is the quickest method with the least work involved and perhaps the most precise method. Even if you don't have an OBD tool, try going to local garage or store, ask for an OBD scan and get the DTC code. But if you can't, try the other methods we've shown you. You'll probably be successful. Just watch your hands, watch the wiring and connectors so you don't damage them and above all, have patience. A proper diagnosis is the most important part when doing any kind of repair and without it, you're just walking in the dark. So that's it for this time. We hope the video helps. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.